Welcome guys, welcome to the new year. We are finally back on track with doing some vlogs and stuff like that, getting ready to work more on the S14. Super stoked because we finally got some parts in. Today's gonna be an unboxing video and pretty much just mocking stuff up to see what we can do to put these new parts on. Um, over the Christmas break or like from vlogging, we finally got some parts in. We got a new radiator. The radiator I've been wanting for so long. We got some new fuel stuff and a new line for the power steering and stuff like that. I'm so excited to start working on the S14 once again. Basically over the time period that I haven't been vlogging, I've been working. Um, basically we had like Christmas and New Year's and yeah, that's pretty much it. So. Um, let's do a recap of what's been going on. So, um, recently I did a video of how far we came with the shop and basically like when I started YouTube, um, I did a whole video, that was the last vlog I did and it was just showing you guys like where I came from, how I started everything with YouTube and how it progressed to us being in a shop. And I'm so grateful that all this is happening. It's so crazy. I never thought this would happen. And there's a, we have more things that are about to happen. Um, we are looking into getting a bigger shop because we are already backed up and stuff. So hopefully in the f near future, we'll be getting a bigger shop. It's like a 50-50 chance that we might get this bigger shop. And I'm super excited, more room. I'm telling you, it's pretty much two of these almost. And yeah, I'm so excited for that. But anyways, for today's vlog, basically we'll be doing an unboxing video with all the new parts and you guys will be, sh I'll be showing you the parts I got and the reason why I got these parts. Dude, my arm is hurting. <laughs> oh my God, holding up the camera like that. All right guys, let's get today's vlog started with opening these new parts for the One UZ S14. Today's gonna be a good video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys aren't subscribed, help your boy out by subscribing. Um, there's a lot of things here today. Um, I'm gonna be showing you the reasons why I'm swapping to these parts. Just because when I, when I got this S14, it didn't really have, like, it had everything for it to run properly and stuff. Um, but we needed better things. Like, I had an over, overheating issue, which we fixed with a water pump. Um, I bought small fans that made it better. But with this new with this new radiator, it's gonna make it so much better and I'm super excited. With this new fuel system, it's also gonna make it so much better because like, um, he didn't have a full braided line throughout the entire uh, car. Uh, and like, it was only half, like half braided lines here and there, half braided lines here, uh, over there and stuff like that. But um, let's just get into opening up the packages and showing you guys what I got over the time period. I'm gonna start off with this one. Um, when I first got the One UZ S14, it did not have no power steering. Um, so this brand called Suspicious Garage, they made a power steering line for the S14, and it's super high quality. It was it was pretty cheap. It was like about 80 bucks. But um, when I first got it in, I test fitted it from the power steering pump all the way to the rack. Uh, and it fit perfect and it's good enough length so if you, anyone that's doing a one UZ swap and they want power steering go to Suspicious Garage. Suspicious Garage, check them out. Um, they have a website, they have Instagram and all that stuff and yeah that's pretty much it. I mean it's high quality, looks good, it's a black line, high pressure. So I'm really stoked on this. I'm so excited to have power steering. I've like, never had power steering in this vehicle so it's gonna be good having this especially when you're and stuff like that so i'm kind of stoked and i want to appreciate suspicious garage for uh helping me source this out thank you guys next is going to be some fiber braided lines for the which i got 10 feet but i got two 10 feet they're good for e85 they're about 50 bucks a piece um i'll probably get another 20 feet because i don't think 20 feet is enough, so probably 40 feet would be good enough. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm going with dash six because I'm not running a lot of fuel. It's just like a plain fuel system. So that's pretty much all I need. And then I also got some manageable fittings. 
right here. So with the banjo bow fittings, the reason why I needed these is because um, the way how the guy had it mocked up when he first put this engine in before I took it out and rebuild it, um, he basically just had like a, a line, like a braid, like a half-assed braid of line with a warm clamp on it, holding, <laughs> holding the cut fuel rail line. So the line I was talking about is basically this line right here. <laughs> I have it loose because I was test fitting it, the banjo boat. So this banjo boat is going to be replaced. Well, this banjo boat fitting right here or this line is going to be replaced with the brand new one. Right here. And it's pretty much going to go all the way back to the fuel regulator, which is going to be installed over there. And how he had it, he had a braided line with a warm clamp right here that feed it all the way over there. Same with this one. This one has like a regular hose line on it and we'll be replacing that one with the same one. It should work. The reason why I'm doing this is because I can't upgrade the fuel rail, which sucks on the 1UZ. Gen 3 of the 1UZs, you can upgrade the fuel rail. They have aftermarket ones, which suck. I can't put three um, third gen fuel rails on the one gen and that's the only issue but i'll be showing you guys how i mocked it up and, sh and i'll show you guys like where it goes like how the banjo bolt works and all that stuff you just basically put it there take that bolt out and then you run your line we'll be doing a video on the whole fuel system all right so next next i finally got my fuel filter which is we're gonna go with d shorts um i've heard good things about d shorts d shorts is a good company uh, one of my favorite youtubers used d shorts jimmy oaks so we went with the titanium fuel filter. When I got this car, how he had it, he had it mocked up on the firewall. And like, the quality from the old one compared to this one, I'm gonna show you, oh, where is it at? Ah. So this was my old fuel filter, and this was on the back of the firewall. And like, basically he did the same thing. He just cut it, put a warm clap, and had it on the uh, fuel rail. Same over here. Like, this was so jank. I mean, it worked. It, it worked. The car ran with it, and but um, I had to go better. I had to get something more high quality. When we install this one, this one's going to be probably under by the frame. Somewhere underneath. But if not, I'll probably locate it same place on the back firewall. So this is the V Schwartz uh, FF110. Uh, it's high quality. It's good for about 500 horsepower. I want to say I'm not 100% sure but I wanna say it is, and it came with a Dash 6 um, A-ins, stuff like that, super high quality. Dude, I love how it looks. It's, it just looks so good looking. It comes with a filter and everything and stuff like that. You just need a A-in a a wrench to pop these open, and then you can put this bad boy in. The engine base is gonna be looking so clean. I can't wait. We're so we're so close. So the next thing that I got recently was probably, I ordered this about Thursday, and it came in yesterday, Saturday, which is the uh, D. Schwartz fuel regulator. It's so small compared to the old one. Let me show you the old one. So same thing with the old one. He did a warm clamp, and he cut it, put some tape on it, and yeah, it basically worked that way. I don't know how, but this is the old fuel regulator that I had. Um, it worked, it's an eBay one. I mean, it's it's still good. I haven't had any issues with it. But this one compared to the D-Shorts one, like, it's smaller, but dude, this one looks so good. And I like that it came with its own uh, uh, mocking plate where you can mock it anywhere on the engine. So basically we're gonna be putting this D-Shorts one somewhere on the firewall where it was. But this is the D-Shorts 1000 and it it can go up to a thousand horsepower for this one they have a 2000 one for 2000 horsepower but dude i'm not even gonna get anywhere close to that so this is the fuel regulator and we also had to order the the gauge and the gauge basically dude i was so i couldn't figure out how to put this gauge on and then there's like a there's like a screw in this fitting right here there's a screw in this fitting that you have to take out so you can put your gauge in and it basically just screws in. Um, I don't know if people use Teflon tape so it can hold in right here, but that's pretty much how it's gonna look. 
basically it's gonna sit probably about right here somewhere around here dude that's gonna be so good i can't wait like the color does not match or anything but it'll pop good enough right here who knows we'll figure it out once we start the fuel system but i'm super stoked for this new fuel regulator so this is the radiator i've been wanting for like so long let's just say it's my dream radiator so i went with the chase base tuck radiator and basically this is going to be tucked under the radiator support which is which is right here it's going to be literally tucked in this area right here and it looks so good man you have to do a couple fabrications and cut it into uh, the radiator support. But it's all worth it once it's in, and it's so big. <laughs> it's thick, it's like super thick. Oh man. This thing is heavy and it's thick, and it's so much bigger than than the uh, SR one I was running, the ISIS one. And look, that's crazy how thick this thing is. And it, man, I'm so excited. I still need to get the filler neck, which goes about right here. And you can put your coolant and all that stuff in. Um, once we start on the cooling system, we'll be getting that. Um, I also need to get a uh, fan relay for it as well. So that's pretty much it. That's all I got for the vehicle. I mean, for the S14. Um, in the next vlog, we'll probably be doing the fuel system or the cooling system, unless I buy a new clutch and stuff like that. I'll probably mock up the stuff, show you guys and stuff, where it goes, how it fits, stuff like that. I got carried away with mocking up the Chase Base radiator, and look at that, dude. Um, the issue with the other radiator, the fans were so close to the um, pulley, and it was like almost hitting. So in a minute, let me show you guys me installing the fans. But once we start working on it, because this is supposed to be sitting right here, right over here, in here more. But even if it doesn't, look how much more, I have more room. Like literally this thing was hitting, almost hitting the fan. It was crazy. But that is insane, dude. That chase base is so crazy. So right now, the next thing I'm gonna test it is this line right here. The other is right there. So this is the next thing I wanted to test before we start getting into it more. If it's perfect, So we might have to trim this area right here. So I'm gonna take this, move this back and take it off. Right there, because it's gonna have to be like that. This plastic part. Unless we do some trimming around here. Because this banjo boat needs to go like that. And the fitting basically would just go like that and then put the new brighter line that'll wrap around over there and bam. This is crazy from when we first started, it looked like shit and now it's finally coming together. This is so crazy. pretty much it for today's video we we're just showing you guys what we got we still have more parts that we need to get before we start I still need to get a fuel hanger for the fuel tank because I think I'm gonna go with the OEM fuel tank and uh, radium makes this fuel hanger for the s14 s13 
R32, R33, and all them, and it pretty pretty much it just drops in, and then you just hook up everything, and that should be it pretty much. But I think it's like 350. Um, I'll probably be getting that in the next couple of weeks. Same with the clutch. Um, there's there's quite a bit of things that we need to get before we really really start getting this thing to get ready to turn on. But I'm super excited that we're coming far. We're like we're really look at that dude like if you guys go back to the old videos and go check out this thing like it it does not look the same anymore like it's completely transformed like i'm stoked how far we came with this build and it's gonna keep on going and we have two more big two more cars to work on to do more builds on them we have a a miata that we're gonna case swap and dude it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be fun um it just takes time like that's all that's all i have this time so I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Oh, and we still have Jose's car to work on and stuff like that. Dude, that's gonna be crazy because we're gonna be rebuilding the SR. So if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and just keep on watching because I promise you guys, we're gonna have some badass content. I mean, like it might be like the same stuff other people do. I'm gonna prove a point that you can do anything you want and you can succeed in everything. So just keep on striving for your dreams and eventually it will happen. So guys, I'll see you guys on the next vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.